Vassa. We're on a golf cart. Right we are on a golf cart. This does give you an across, man. The shiny. shiny. Yes. No. Not, oh not my the, god, they're just panseers everywhere. Panseer. No. Told you these eggs. Oh. Yes, welcome in everybody to GoFest New York. Three, one. Oh, it's a tiny unknown D to start off with. And we're back at Bryan Park for the Friday where we're doing the city experience to kick things off. So our first catch is gonna be a unknown tiny D and shiny D. There we go, just one check after. We're after the question mark, of course, which is the new unknown for these in-person go fests. And somewhere over there, Vasa, the Italian, and a lot of people are currently standing. We're over here, we were getting a drink, but oh, we broke out. Don't you dare! First shiny of the event, one minute in, I'm not losing an unknown D. We actually got that back at Worlds 2022. So there are a few things to chase, city experience, and in today's video, we're gonna look at the park experience where we're playing in the afternoon over on Randall's Island. So I'm looking forward to that. There's the two Aura Choreos to get, the Pom Pom and the Pow style. We've got the brand new shiny of Ducklet to go and chase. I need to get two of those, plus unknown question mark. And, um, I don't want to spoil things, but uh, there's Necrozma, of course, and Buzzwall to chase. We'll see if we can pick them up in this video, but despite the beach biome luck, we need to pop an incense down, and we're going to pop a couple of those down. We have the city research to look at as well from Re, Eevees with moon crowns, Espeon, Umbreon with their scarfs and everything, and of course, Klefki. Can't be shiny yet, but quite cool that we can get that. So let's pick the camera up and start moving somewhere, I think, because we need some more unknowns. Oh. No, nope, it ran away. Oh, it's unknown two minutes done. Damn, we've done some raids this morning, which you'll see in a different video, but I will say, while in Starbucks, a tiny catch card buzzwall was a very nice pull indeed. So we've been raiding for buzzwall and Necrozma this morning from 5 a.m. and we'll be doing the same thing tomorrow. We're gonna go for a mad shiny session today and see how many we can get ticked off. City experience usually comes through. We do actually need more fur through. Our second shiny is one that will only be available here. I don't think this is going to be available at Global. The Eevee with the Moon Crown from Allure, while having just done a lucky trade with Andrew. Wolverine. <laughs> and we have another one lined up, which is fantastic. So we're planning that. And then the Crosma, you know, the blue shiny, blue crown. Very, very nice indeed. If we can get another one, just for the sake of it, it's really bad stats, but obviously it doesn't evolve. The Umbreon and Espreon are separate costumes with scarves and things, but that's a beautiful shiny. It really is. And Brian Park, if you're here in New York, you can come to Brian Park. It's a nice little condensed cluster of stuff. I'm not going to click on things I don't need. I mean, my phone is really struggling in this heat and humidity. When you spin some stops, I should get my Go Plus Plus going on that one. And I need to do a lucky trade. By the way, all the lucky trades are going into a different video, so keep your eye on the channel for that. But there's so many coming through and a shiny panda to my left show it show the panda beautiful on the beach background oh and it's an incense shiny i have an opportunity to say drop an incense for the incense podcast he's busy filming Shelder, that is not good come on give me something good now oh you're hatching Absolutely. eggs already I'm hatching eggs already but only two k's and they are bad oh well, I was going to say, look, we've got a level one Pikachu. It's not shiny, but incensed podcast. We're here. We are representing. here. Representing. Good to see you, Vasa, having missed out on Madrid. I know, literally, the FOMO monkey. We are going to be recording a live show here we in sure segments are. over the course of the weekend, which is lovely. And, and the recording equipment in oh, the nice it. little Niantic bag. Oh, the Necrozma. Yes. The Necrozma bag. We've upgraded from my logo for London. <laughs> it had to be done. Episode, is it 178 is dropping on 178 Sunday? 178 is dropping Sunday. Keep We're your eyes on the channel. 179 this weekend. Oh, yes. It's going to be epic. Can you already? Oh, my God. oh yeah. <laughs> Check it out! Oh my god! Good news! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's thing. only... It's rightly so. I made What the Ducklet on the podcast as a game. That is Shiny Ducklet at the beach biome that and it's somehow literally, Brian Park Brian is. Park is a beach I don't know habitat. how that's possible, but oh my goodness, it's, it's such Pink a good shiny. And purple shiny. That is an awesome shiny. So, Pokeball wise, red. it's sort of like. Red. <sighs> it's got to be red. Savage. Right. Vass, has savage con Vass has convinced me. I think at least it's. Terrible oh, throw. That's okay, you got it. We've gone and razz the damn you got thing, this. but come you got on. This. There that, we go. One of the new shinies ticked off. In fact, you know, in fact we get that in literally three or four checks. Amazing. That is and it wasn't a lure spawn. And it's one star, it could yes, be worse. It really could be a lot worse, but hey, caught in a party as well. We're playing with Mama Glass and Angus as well. Shiny ducklet ticked off. That's uh, mm, Oh, what is it? Lurspawn. Lurspawn's down. Lure. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> four checks for ducklet and we get the shiny. So, so awesome. 
Uh, there's the pow. I'd love to get that shiny, but we might have to start moving around because that uh, incense is not delivering. Ah, there's so much going on. I love, if you don't know, I love the frenzy. The frenzy of a GoFest day one. There is nothing like it. The energy is so high. People are screaming for shinies and hundos and that sort of thing. It's absolutely mega. And I'm really hoping you guys can get to experience something like that where you're playing for Global. Nice, dude. We got a shiny phantom at the Ooh. beach on the beach background. Phantom. Which is, I don't know why this is a beach background. I don't yeah, know. it doesn't. But wow, why, very beachy. It's very beachy. But why don't you? I mean, there's sand, a gravel over there. But yes. you go ahead and catch that. Finally, that's my second shiny phantom. I did if have to we trade. Catch it. Well, I don't. I don't doubt you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't doubt you. Three. Fabulous. And by the way, the best T-shirt I have seen in all of New York City. Thanks. The Badoof. Fabulous. Thank you very much, dude. Is it good? Wow. It's like a Gatling gun, Ivy. Love that. But it's such a fabulous shiny. Where was your Umbreon? Was it around or... Oh, Duffler. I feel like I'm slowing the group down, but it's okay because we have stage one of the City Skies research to get through and we get some items. I didn't want to go later. Ah, which one do we do? I don't know. I think I might go for Eevee well, with the crowns. Let's go for the crown Eevee because the duck look, we can get another one off. We've got the park. But, that oh, was a fur fruit, fantastic. I'm oh, sorry, it's really laggy at the moment because I'm charging my phone. Three Hearts of the Buddy changed the fur fruit room. Apparently the French form of fur fruit was available here and Japan was available in Madrid. So I'm quite glad I even traded for that. But Cat seeks Eevee wearing the sun crown or moon crown. Well, we need to get that clicked off. Three in a row. No, no. Nope. The doggo has sparkled and quite a bit of an in-joke, it's an 888 shiny. That's one more of the shiny doggos. And we'll catch it in the Ultra Ball because it's, uh, it's got a black on the Ultra Ball. Let's go with that. Now, you can, as I mentioned, change it to the Lorraine form, which is the French version exclusive of Burfrew, but I don't have the American one, which I think is debutant. It's very poor, but we'll change the form of it to, there you go, debutant shiny and tick it off. And it's disappeared entirely now. Love that, but here we go. One more shiny fur fruit put into the decks, as it were. Ticked off and burn. Not shiny, and we're still on a beach. Drillbat wouldn't mind a few more of those shinies, but we do have the rugged quarry, and there's a Lapras with the scarf. Finally. Is that an Aura Quarry on the lure? Can I get it, please? Hello? Ching. Not shiny, it's a shame. It would be nice to pick that one up, but it's got plenty of time for the weekend to progress. However, Pidgey. <laughs> One of the other new shinies that I mentioned is Buzzwall. We've just done one and it's weather boosted. This is 2394, so it's terrible and it's not shiny. The shiny looks like it's been dumped in radioactive waste. It's a great shiny with extra green on it. I don't know where we're gonna rock and roll to and no cash cards. That's a shame. Uh, duck looks behind. Find a shiny here before the unknown top of the hour. Oh, party challenge. It's an execute. Why am I doing party challenges? No, 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 no. Is there a shiny somewhere in this cluster that we can find to switch to unknown? Because of course, ooh, oh, Corio, not shiny, it would be fun. Vinion, no, sorry, babe. I don't think we're getting a shiny of anything. That's a shame. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, well now we know we're not gonna get a shiny of anything, but there is a question mark. I think I might move to get some fresh spawns. I want to find some new spawns because uh, there's a Eevee with the moon crown. We do need that for the research. Come on, fresh unknowns, please. Back there, A on the beach biome, not shiny. Not shiny or a choreo. Oh, okay, we're gonna hatch our eggs. First batch of 7K eggs. I need to disconnect Bluetooth, do excuse me. Pow or a choreo, not shiny. These have delivered some really good, oh, shiny Eevee with the, yes, sun crown, come on. Second egg is a sparkly one. We needed that. We really needed that one. Fantastic. Egg luck has been good as of late. Love to see it. Not the shiny Oracoria, but we got, as I said, we got plenty of time. It's only an hour into the event. Excuse you. Egg number God knows what. Pan Chan, we don't need that one, but won't say no to the sparkle. Ooh, there's the moon crown, Eevee. And there we go. 607 isn't. 96 shiny. That's not too bad at all. Love it. Hatched from Bacillid. I don't know where that is. Patreon member, whoever that was, thank you very much for the shiny egg. I need to double check. We've ticked off both the EVs with the crowns. Now we need some fresh unknowns because we're running out of time. Nope, we've missed it. We missed it. 
Damn! It is time to choose a pathway, and the deciding factor of this is what my other half was choosing. Um, it's a fun one. You went sun, so we're gonna go hidden in the umbra, Lunala. Which actually, the Dawn Wings version is more of a usable general raid attacker, particularly if we get a good one versus Necrozma. So, there we go, we've chosen the, the dark side. <laughs> Francesco finally ended his run of trying to get shiny heat more. Duck! The second duckless has shown up before, literally an hour and 15 minutes into the event. 188 CP, and uh, we've gone around it in red baller, but Sue got a shiny ducklet from research not too long ago. Actually, show your nails. This is, look at the nails that have been done here. <laughs> Mad stuff. <laughs> Catch, Congratulations! Catch it, because you got the shiny six from research, didn't you? Just I now, did. Which is I'm mad. I'm walking here! Yeah. We're, we're going to be podcasting here later. So that's a shiny family completed already, Yay. which is lovely. 2XL for the catch, and Vasa, it's dead. GBL. <laughs> he does closet GBL. He I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> what were we walking past? Uh, House of Lasagna. House of Lasagna. I don't care. I got a Shani or a Corio. <laughs> From Alert Spawn, this is the American regional exclusive one, which is lovely to have picked up because the PAL one is available at all the GoFests. Ultra Ball it because yellow. Yellow Shiny. There was a certain video he traded me the, the dog. There you go. Now he gave me the European yeah. exclusive from Madrid. Two star, but that is Oracorio ticked off, which is thrilling. The ballet side. Ballet, yes. Ballet. That's oh, not shiny. See, there you go. There's the difference. You can see. And maybe the Fofu will be shiny for me. No. Oh, there we go. Archon. Lovely. Let's just quickly catch that because that's not a new shiny we need it, but hey, it's good. It's good. I like it. Fridays. I tell you, Fridays are my day to play. I'm just going to check everything now on camera. Hey, why not? Tyrant. Not blue. There were plenty of those last year in New York, actually. Not the shiny dojo to make up for trading one away, but that's fine. Okay. I need to find something to drink because honestly, I'm dying. I'm dying here. It's so. It's hot and humid, and I'm not used to it. We are chomping through camera battery right now, but batch number two of these events, seven kilometer eggs, disconnect the Go Plus Plus before anything goes wrong. Ducklet's not shiny. Heat more, could be cool to hatch that thing. Egg number three is Klefki. It can't be shiny, probably not until, was it Unoventor or Kalostor, I forget. There's another one. Oh, come on, Ducklet. Come on, Evie. Come on. That's the Oracorio that we'd still need. And I think there's the final egg. Pan Champ. Oh no, one more egg. One more egg. Oh god, that's awful. Yeah. No, 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 no. No hundos. Fantastic. Moving on swiftly. But while grabbing some very valuable hydration, that's our second pom pom style shiny Oracorio. And I clicked it and I wasn't even checking because I was about to pay. And then I popped back in and I was like, oh, it's a shiny one. Fantastic. So ticked off the list, but. This is important. This is really important and needed, but in the bag it goes. Oh, wrong way around for PvP, but hey, that is what it is. And... Darting in between the Crosma raids, check it out. We chose the night path and we've been delivered a 1111 shiny Umbreon with the moon scarf. Very rare costume, and I believe this is only going to come off of incense for Global. Originally, we didn't think it was going to be available for Global, but it should be. I'm super stoked to pick that one up. Honestly, fabulous shiny Umbreon, obviously, and the fact that it gets a costume. The day and night theme with the GoFest, amazing. Quadruple one, and it's uh, one star, but that does not matter at all. It's ticking it off the list. There's the Pikachu. We need both the Pikachu still. Um, and now it's time to jump in, possibly, that Guzzlord. Oh, we go. No, no. We're waiting at a cafe because we're going to go over on the ferry very soon. We just missed Unknown now. Basically, we're in the wrong spot. This will be our Lunala encounter. We're going to see if we get a good one. I've never got Lunala in my Pokedex. It's actually going to be a Pokedex entry for me, which is jokes. And it's a guaranteed catch card. 1687? I've not got a clue if that's good at all. I should know. I think 1700 and something is what Zoe Tudor's got as 100 percent but honestly, when you do the fusions, it does not matter. The Lunala or Solgaleo do not dictate the stats at all. So it's just a Necrozma that is the key thing. Shiny, catch card, everything. Boom, Pokedex Lunala. 
We'll get Solgaleo eventually because we have a good Cosmog. And Catch Card, fantastic. And this one is really dead two star. Fantastic. But that's all good. That means we can claim this stage of the research and crack on with some raiding, I think it is. Yes, three raids, power up Pokemon five times and earn 800 dust. That shouldn't be too much of a faff. Right, before we are going to get on the ferry and head over to Randall's Island to make good time so we don't miss our meetup bits and pieces for the podcast and live recording too, we have stage four completed by suffering through a Joltic raid. Don't hate at me in the comments, please, but needs must. So this does give you an Necrozma. The shiny! Yay! Yes! Shiny from the research. It's absolutely dead, obviously. So it gives you a level 20 from research, which is interesting, but Silver Pineapple, that sucker, having just done a lucky trade with Sue for a shiny Necrozma, now we get one back and we're gonna blue ball it. Are you really proud of me, Ian? He, he Proud of me. He doesn't understand the grind of actually suffering oh. to get this thing. It broke out. I'm, I'm done Va with you. Vassa, you Vassa's currently a salty bottle of water. That's what he is. I'm gonna go on and it. I don't care. Seriously, just hurry up. Life is too short is a phrase that I use quite often. Thank you. There we go. It's the phone call is on. While we're sat inside, might as well keep the phone call. 5XL, no catch card, unfortunately, and two start, perfect for another lucky trade, which is wonderful. Shane, right, I think the ferry soon, and um, we have a fun video idea for the ferry, so that's not going to be shown on this one. Check back very soon for it. Fast to push the egg before we're ready, but hey, is it going to be? Oh, it's a heat more shiny! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vassa. <laughs> That's a shiny evil from Dagenham. Hey, I think, again, that is Batman Fit from the Patreon squad. It's a 12 12 12, but it's a shiny heat more that Vassa pushed prematurely. Fantastic. I need to show my ferry tickets. We're jumping on the boat now. I should have more eggs going, so maybe before we jump on the ferry, do you want to help me how to shiny? Come on. Look. Okay, then we need to watch the sandbags. Sandbags to cripple you. There's nobody behind us, so we're A OK, okay. Vassa. Oh, oh, that's the one you want. That is the one you need. They want the Oricario. No, not oh the, my god, they're just pansies everywhere. Pansier. No. I told you these eggs. Oh, oh duckles, shiny chocolate! Can't believe it. Three shinies from eggs. Unbelievable. You are literally going off. They were not this good in Spain. Come I on, I just one have more. Good eggs. Good egg luck. Last one, I, I think. Mean, as a normal ducklet. Unbelievable. It was two shinies from one batch. Technically. That is awesome. Brilliant. Ah. Get on the boat! Run! <laughs> Time to dock. Let's go. We are running incense. We popped our daily incense on the water, so uh, that was interesting. <laughs> Come on. It's good to be back at Randall's Island after just under a year. We get to Randall's Island and on the beach with our second shiny Umbreon. 1500 CP on the nose, which is <clears throat> great league territory. Blast through the lag because the foam, the only way it could be any hotter is if it was being incinerated right now. It is actually on fire. Now, the lag is real, but we're on our way to go and get bits and pieces sorted. 1500 CP on the dot. It's terrible one star, but that's absolutely okay. And it's the park is looking mental. I should get into some raids, really. We have another batch of eggs to go. I think it's batch number four, so we may be running out of 7Ks, but that shiny life for the eggs is good today. Not the Klefki, obviously. I'm gonna see if I can grab JT Valor for a lucky trade, which won't be in this video. <laughs> that's an Eevee with a sun crown. Eevee with a sun crown. Come on, Klefki. Egg number five, a Klefki. This is going to be a dead batch, I can feel it. I can feel it. The Ducklet not shiny. Come on, Ducklet not shiny. And Klefki. Yeah, this is going to be a, a very poor batch, unless the final egg is... Oh, no, that was it. That really was it. Nope, right, I'm going to restock and try and cool this down. Vassa. We're on a golf cart. Right we are on a golf cart in New York, in Randall's Island. Absolutely. It's quite a good time to say Incense Podcast, us, hashtag sponsored. Yeah, new drop every Sunday. Well, uh, hashtag sponsored. Thank you, Nancy. Yes. yes. Appreciate tickets and getting us involved. But Ian, you gave me very good egg luck last time. I did earlier, but the second time I didn't. But this time we're going to get something shiny. Here we go. Let's go quickly. No. Okay, no. The Regional keys. O for this event. Keys. It's not bueno. Oh, oh that would have been good. No. That would have been ideal. Come on! No, 
You still fun. need that one, don't you? I don't. Oh, you don't? Sorry, Bassa. Oh. I really don't need that. I know That's Francesco does. That's a cheeky donkey, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. there's another Oricorio. You need the Let's faded go. pink, bro. The baby pink. Oh, my God. These are bad. I told you these were bad eggs. Oh, now they're in fun. I do have two more somehow desynced. See, oh. I'm not quite sure why they haven't hatched, but maybe an Umbreon. Maybe, no. We Sorry. will go back to the studio. <laughs> I'm really struggling without having a case in the pop socket, but incense is the only way to get a shiny here in the park. So it's the Oracorio. It's our third Pom Pom Oracorio. The POW is a, a no-go, apparently, but an incense one we're about to set up and record later this afternoon for the podcast. <laughs> can, can someone hum the national anthem? I'm not used to having a phone fan, but it is that hot. Like the phone practically on fire, <laughs> which is great. Are those IVs going to be smashing? No, nope, almost a nundo. Love that. Back to back. That's the normal one. There you go. Lovely stuff. But yeah, incense at the moment because we're in the interim, the intermission between the morning and afternoon experience. Let's see what plays because we're podcast recording, which we'll get some B-roll of. Show you guys that and live stream. Maybe the live stream can pull through some good sparkles. 2023 was in August. We were dying from humidity and heat. And it's a month earlier this year, and it's we, worse. Yeah, it's, it's a lot it's worse. It's significantly it. worse. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't think I could be any more wet unless I actually jumped into the East River off the ferry. It's now the unknown hour. Our park experience is underway, and well, we can see if we can pick up a shiny, but battling through some extreme phone lag. Come on! We do need the tea, the tea and the question mark. And I think this cup of tea would actually be a very bad idea right now, but no shiny A. Um, honestly, this little cluster, I mean, I just, the phone is struggling big time because I gave him a fan away. <laughs> I gave the fan to somebody else, which is a foolish thing. We need to charge. Is there going to be no shiny unknown N? I mean, there's been no shiny. We've been in the wrong places for shiny unknowns, unfortunately. There is a POW or a Corio on the incense, which, I mean, the phantom is obviously in the way and we can barely hit the damn thing. Come on! Still need that one. We've had three of the pom pom forms and no pow, no H. Obviously H show and tour. We've been in the wrong places for unknowns, but I think to maximise, we're going to pop a little bit of spatial rem just to help out. We're trying to shelter and hide because we are recording the podcast live. Spatial rem hopefully is going to help us out. I think there's a few more popping in. Let's check that. I mean the A is not facing us, and it is a shiny one. 629. Yay! Fabulous. I mean, we already have one of the A shinies, but not the worst thing in the world we're picking up. Blue ball for a blue shiny. Unknown two minutes is done. It's amazing how quickly it goes, particularly when the phone is, you know, you could melt the ice caps with that. Now we're back to some regular spawns. We'll just still check for the shiny Espeon. We've got two of the Umbreons. We need the Espeon to complete the collection. EVs anymore would be fantastic. <laughs> what are you Couldn't dealing make with? Any more noise. <laughs> At least the microphone's not facing him. He's good, he's good. The pom-pom style has been quite good to us, but let's just check a load of them anyway. It's just standard yellow. That's a level one, that's quite cute. Oh, we've had a ticket. What's it called? Aquatic Paradise, that's what it is. Wolverine, thank you very much, Andrew, for gifting us the ticket. It was rather unexpected. Make sure we grab a screenshot of that for when the video potentially happens. I don't know. We already have the shiny ducklet, so that event is kind of um, funs and laughs, you know? But. Lapras would be no bad thing to pick up more of since we're sat next to Sue. Yay. And oh my goodness me, we picked up another pom pom. <laughs> oh, what a surprise! <laughs> it's, it's a surprise pom pom. Oh my goodness me, the pom pom shiny, fantastic. So that's four, four pom pom, no power. Collection challenges for the park experience. Now we'll properly dive into the park experience a little bit later on because we do have to record some podcast stuff and we're going to live stream. Thank you in advance, everybody who popped into the live stream on the Friday. We've just wrapped up some recording for the podcast, finally, yeah. with Chris and Kyle from GoCast. What up? Lovely yeah. to see you, boys. He just Hello. got an eye unknown. He did, shiny. I sure did. Cuz. Sure did. Oh. And unfortunately, it's off alert, but let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> unknown top of the hour. We're get, once again kind of in the wrong place, but I finally get my gold 26 unknown medal, which is fabulous, because question mark was the one remaining. However, trying to find an unknown, shiny could be problematic so i need the t and the y where are you there's a t oh why shiny yes what? we what? need that one very nice that's oh fantastic that's one of the three that we needed we'll blue ball it because we're like that i guess <laughs> actually i don't know why ian's not even present 
so the color cr the color matching doesn't matter but there we go he's off oh, getting oh, his wayfarer t-shirt and it's a middle finger stat i love that can we get unamas for like 30 seconds remaining i tap the h already no it's two minutes gone well at least we've got an unknown shiny that's something at least that's almost an unknown shiny in the park per batch and incense is not bringing us in anything so uh, right yeah. now I need to jump onto my Samsung that's probably going to cook in the heat oh, yeah. doing the recording for the podcast. An incense is back and not a shiny Pau or a Corio. There's not a Honda because a thousand CP is what you'd be looking for from research. So having just picked up our fifth or a Corio pom pom style, we've come off the back of the live stream. Thank you very much everybody for the traction and popping into the stream and saying hello. We got some really good shinies on it. We actually got a shiny Flabebe from the research with a back-to-back -back shiny Pancham. A couple of other shinies here and there. We managed to turn a rufflet into a Mantine. That wasn't exactly planned. We were hoping for an unknown. We did get an unknown H and something else, I think it was, but here we go. We managed to go to the Brilliant Skies biome, which is pretty dead, plus the ghostly woods to get these. It's a, a Panseer, annoyingly. So we're getting out of that biome as quick as we possibly can do. Still combating all the heat and issues with the phones. Flabebe. Oh, shiny Flabebe. Yes, from the special research. Let's go. So we've got two of three there with the orange flower. Beautiful. Two shiny Flabebes. Three star, but a bit dead. There's so many things to check, but we need to claim these terrible berries. Hello? Let me claim. You must claim your special encounter first. I'm trying to, game. I'm really trying. Oh dear, it's a cleft key. If it's a hundo, that'd be great. But we only have about an hour and a half left to go, so that's why I'm trying to plow through the research now. And I'm not sure where everybody else is. Lingering around. Let's see. Is it... It's dead two-star. Fantastic. So quickly. Blanche is going to chat some rubbish that I'm not interested in. However, we need to spin five stops, snapshots, and all that jazz. So let's spin some stops. <laughs> it's so slow. Speed and efficiency is what we're all about, and Caterpie is not on that vibe. Bye, I'm done. And... Oracoria is not shiny and not good either, but we do need to do all of the quests for that to get that shiny. Still need the power style. Rugged quarry bits and pieces, done the snapshot with a buddy, and we get a heat more. Do not mind for IVs, I want to hide in the poolside cabana for the rest of the session, because there's quite a lot of shade in that general direction. There's a moon, Eevee. Candela is going to talk some rubbish that we're not interested in still, so we need to hatch an egg. 15 Pokemon, 3 great throws. Let's move on with that, because Oracoria... Uh-huh. Maybe here's my shiny charm. Well, there we go. That is actually after two years, I think, my second ever male shiny frillish. So off of the lure spawn, which is fantastic, as we're camping out here in the pool to Cabana, trying to get that power style or choreo. So there we go. Shiny frillish is one we did. Oh, it's a three star. 13, 13, 14, that's so close. After a little bit of effort, we've come actually to where the inflatable Pikachu is, and that is the poolside cabana itself. This should be the Mars Shadow Encounter, so we're gonna claim the Great Balls, which will go to very good use this weekend, the Stardust and the XP, and this is the new mythical for GoFest 24. We finally get to get our Mars Shadow. I swear the music is getting louder and louder, and we get this beautiful animated background here with what we know is going to be Mars Shadow popping up over the rocks and disappearing as the alone executor walks past. We're going to lose our prop, but there we go. Mars Shadow's there, hiding in the sand. And obviously with every mythical encounter, we get to throw random Pokeballs at it, go for a great throw. It'd be great to nail it with an excellent. And unfortunately, I think we're going to miss the unknown top of the hour due to the complications of <laughs> when we decided to do this. But that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So here we go. It's going to break out for the final time and then, bang, a great throw to finish off. Fingers crossed, not only Pokedex entry, but hopefully a good one. It'd be great to get a good one. Mars Shadow into the Pokedex with Generation 7. Oh my God, I swear the music gets louder. 1565 is just a dead three star. 14, 12, 11. Not unexpected to be honest, but it's a very cool little Pokemon. Where are the unknowns? Come on, oh no, we've got the weather change. Come on, unknown shinies. Where are you, where are you? Lots of Oracorios haven't switched over. Question mark, I still need the T. Those are the chases for tomorrow. Oh, I see it. No, I've hit, I hit the Y instead. Come on, question mark. Not shiny. Oh, yeah, it's not shiny, but it is huge. I'm gonna pick it up and walk a little bit. For Lure, no shiny. I can't, I can just, it's struggling so badly. I think that's it. That's it done. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Well, snap, non-shiny. We've just hit seven o'clock but one last shiny. And this was literally 
five seconds before it ticked over to being seven o'clock, which is the end of day one. Shiny Lunatone, oh God, I cannot throw for the life of me. So we're just gonna throw a straight throw, because why not? And it's time to grab the boat, try and reconvene with the squad, but it's a 91% shiny. Fantastic, we do have a bit of incense still going. So we were gonna do an outro out and about, but as you can see from this clip here, the heavens opened in a catastrophic way. So while we're on the boat, it's chucked it down and it only stopped raining in the Uber back to the hotel. So we're now here and we can wrap up day one of GoFest. I'm very pleased with how things panned out today. We have to minus one shiny for the sake of this video. So technically 30, well, technically two, but who matters? 35 or 36 shinies and plenty of new ones, which is what we wanted to get. The Moon Crown Eevee was brand new. Getting the Ducklet pretty much an hour in was fantastic and the Sun Crown Eevee from a seven kilometer ray. Again, I need to look up where Basildon actually is and who that's from. Maybe somebody new to the Patreon. A Ducklet once again, so three of them. Getting the Oracorios, and we had like five of them, which was mad. The Umbreons, two of them, one in the city, one in the park as we arrived, as you saw, and hatching two shinies, the Heatmore, thanks to Ian, and Batman Fit, where the egg is from, and I don't know where this egg is from, actually, off the top of my head. Well, it's obviously from London, but who from, I don't know, but hatching a shiny Ducklet, making it three of the brand new shinies is amazing and a smattering of unknowns. Two Flabebes from research, and that thing is very difficult to find. So very pleased to have picked up two of those. And a random thing, I didn't show the Amora, because we got one from the wild, which was funny. And then an egg glitch happened, and it was a random 10 kilometer egg hatch. So I'm gonna say 35 shinies, because the Necrozma was on while we were recording the podcast, and this was a trade courtesy of Ken from Lured Up, which we did our six specials today and we're doing a lucky trade video later in the future, getting all 18 special trades covered in it and we'll see how those pan out, but super excited to crack on with tomorrow and the rest of the weekend. So if you enjoy, please don't hesitate to smash the like button and do hit the subscribe button if you're new as well. I'd appreciate you sticking around. And before we go, thank you very much to every single person on the Patreon. There are a couple of new people joining on there, which is always wonderful. And I fully appreciate every single one of you taking your support up to the next level and making it possible for me to continue being a content creator, doing the live streams, which I had a little bit of fun of today. And of course, coming to these live events and meeting so many of you, saw plenty of people in the park and out in the city. It's always a fantastic experience. So appreciate all of you. Thank you so much indeed. If you enjoy this video, go and check out either one of these bits of content on your screen right here. I'm gonna try and work as hard as I can to get the GoFest videos out there for you so you can enjoy those too. There's gonna be raid stuff because we're gonna be up at 5 a.m. again tomorrow. We were doing that this morning and hopefully get some more of those Ultra Beasts and the Crossmas. We get our Lunar Energy, so I think we'll do Fusion in the next video. But until the next time, I'm gonna say, do take care.